We've heard the word victim a lot today. The victim was taken hostage. The victim was bound and gagged. The victim was stabbed repeatedly. Well, I think that my client, Mr. Gilmore, is a victim. The victim of a prosecutor so hungry for a conviction that he would lead witnesses and produce dubious physical evidence. Now, there is an important phrase that I would like you all to remember today. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Imagine that it is you who must throw that switch beyond a reasonable doubt. Oh, uh, I did it. <laughs> what? I took him hostage, uh, bound and gagged him, stabbed him repeatedly. What? But I had them. Didn't I have you? I had you, didn't I? I had them. Yeah, but I was trying to feel guilty. Isn't it true, Judge, that we're just really wasting the taxpayers' money at this point? Well, if you're saying that you're guilty, yes, we have been wasting the taxpayers' money. But, Your Honor, I, I was 17 and 0 before this case, and I had them. All right, give it up. It's over. Oh, shut up, Judge. <laughs> Shut up, Judge. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Shut up. I'm sorry, Judge. judge. I'm, so, wow. I'm so sorry. Wow. Oh, oh, Don't oh, disbar oh. me, Judge. Shut up, Judge. You gotta understand. I really had them. They were, they were in the palm of my hand, Judge. Could, wow. Welcome. <laughs> morning, Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. Oh, please, would you perk down, Kathy? You're giving off so many sparks, you'll set my nylon dress on fire. Oh. What? Oh, well, Kathy, what kind of a sadistic company schedules a meeting first thing Monday morning? You know me, Kathy. I love Monday morning meetings. They give a focus to my weekend. <sighs> Look, I made muffins. They're fruit sweetened. Great. Kathy, they have chocolate chips in them. Yeah, but they're fruit sweetened. <laughs> what do you think the meeting will be about, Kath? All the usual, don't steal, work harder, don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ferguson is late. Really? Out of my way, I shadow. Miss <laughs> Ferguson, I, I made muffins. Oh, Kath, that's nice. Well, this is us, Spunky. <laughs> well, let's get started. Um, it's all going down, man. God looked down into the pink collar trough, spit fire into it. It's a firestorm. Armageddon for them in spice nylons. Scatter like gypsies, weep with the ones you love. Typing can't save you. Shave your head, start again. It's all going down, man. <laughs> Let's give her a big hand, shall we? Miss <laughs> Ferguson really started off the meeting with a bang. I'm kind of just going to go freshen up by puking. <laughs> Yes, it has been an eventful week here at AT and Love. Your supervisor is just a little tired from the news. News? News? What news? What news? We here at AT and Love are almost completely out of money. Oh, oh my God! What? Kath? What? What'll we do? I don't know. <laughs> Want a date? I have to eat resumes for food. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's no need to panic. The good news is that no one needs to be fired. Yay! And what's the bad news? <laughs> You're a fast one, aren't you? Yeah. Has anyone here ever heard of a little thing called job sharing? Oh, 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 oh. Is that that little thing where you do twice as much work for the same amount of pay? Bingo! <laughs> Kath, let's just give it a chance. How would this work? Well, you share the same job, desk, and paycheck. Like this guy beside me, he's my partner. In the afternoon, he speaks. Who do I share with? You share with him. 
welder. There's still a few bugs to be ironed out, but in the meantime, I suggest you learn to weld. <laughs> and who's my partner? Uh, you're with her. Oh. Yay, Kathy, we made it. We're gonna be the best team. We can get ma matching clothes and everything. Kathy! I don't wear matching clothes, okay? All right. Look at these arms. Did you ever wonder how they got so big? Yes. From lifting trays of beer at Oktoberfest. <laughs> I did it before and I can do it again. I'm out of here, kid. Kath. Uh, not so fast, Kathy. Why? If you go, she has to go, too. What? What? Job sharing. You're a team now. To one of you dies or has a baby out of wedlock. That's not fair. Neither is the competition from the Japanese! <laughs> Kath, don't go. I'm not from restaurant stock. Well, I'll die in the service industry. Well, I'll die. I'll, I'll die. I'll die. I'll die. Kath, please. Okay, I'll stay. Yay! I'm so pathetic. Me too, Kath. You won't regret it, Kath. Yeah, right. Out of my way. Out, 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 out. Oh. What happened to you? Oh, Kath. Hit the glass ceiling, plunged back into the secretarial pool. Well, I can still type from ashes to ashes. Oh, Miss Ferguson, you made a mistake there. <laughs> Shut up, Kathy. Just hold the typewriter still, would you? That's better. She's one of us now. Sometimes this city is hard work. Sometimes this pothole-filled, puddle-ridden city is a screeching yodel of madness. Maybe I should explain. Last week, as I was coming home from getting my paper plates done at the dry cleaner, they do a wonderful job, but sometimes they use too much starch. And as I was coming home, I looked up to the muffler shop. And above it, I noticed that the horizon started to shift. I stood and watched as I saw the buildings and burger joints begin to swirl and collapse into a white water river of Armageddon. Huh, I thought I hadn't noticed that before. And then a tremble in my spine and it shook. It sensed the sour scream of the voices, the voices. Hey there, buddy, how you going? How's it doing there, bud? How you been? What beast from hell is stalking me? Why is there no stillness in this volcano? Do the voices crave the marrow from my bones? Do the voices want to gargle the last vestiges of my sanity and swallow it like so much flavorless gum? What is wanted by the voices? I just thought we'd sit yak, you know, sit yak, watch some TV. What do you say, huh, Chief? I never get bored of them rock videos. I must escape. I must distance myself from the voices. So I drive, speed, night, wind through my brain, cleansing me of the voices, the voices. Oh, bus driver, speed up a little bit, speed up a little bit, speed up. I must trick the voices. Boy, I've had a long day. I'm really tired. I, I could use some sleep. OK, I can take a hint. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Sure you don't want to go get a pizza, huh? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, see ya. The voices are gone. And I can sleep. But for how long? Eight hours? Ten hours? Why would the bed bugs bite? Aren't they my friends? <laughs> What's his name? Oh, yeah. What's his name? The bartender from Mascus. Yeah. He is so hot, eh? I, th I think he's gross. I think he's hot. Oh, God. I think he looks like the love child of Siegfried and Roy. Who? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, look at him. He's hot, eh? Oh, I think he's a toad. Kiss him, you'll get warts. Well, I think he's hot. Well. I think he isn't. Well, I think he's hot. Well, I don't think he is. Well, I think he's very, very hot. Well, I think he's not hot. Are you aware of how many times you've used the word hot and it's not even hot outside? Imagine how many times you would use it if it were actually hot. A lot, I guess. 
Can we talk about something else besides guys? Like, really? I'd switch to decaf if I was you, Smitty. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Rome is burning, and all we do is cruise. What? Rome's burning? Maybe that's why Italians are so hot, eh? You guys are too much. Hey, check out the queers! Oh, he is so hot. Oh, you guys are disgusting. You should never let politics interfere with cruising, Smitty. Yeah, that's why you never get laid. I give up. Not yet. <laughs> Better take off that party hat, son. You're not gonna need it where we're going. Okay. Dad, Dad, where are we going? You're gonna be a man, little boy. <laughs> Chat? This rock? It's a big part of the McFolson tradition. For generations, the McFolson men have been coming here on their 13th birthday to enter manhood. You see, there's certain parts about being a man that one just has to experience. So like my father before me, you're gonna watch your dad get pathetically drunk. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> Broke my hand on a pineapple. Didn't even care. Ten bucks is ten bucks. And twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Thirty. So if you're cold, and there's a little read there. But never. So, are you two sisters? Or? I want to peruse your report card. I don't have it. I said, Mister, I want your report card. So if you do acid, wait an hour before you go swimming. Huh? Oatmeal, raisins, oranges, tropical fruits of all kinds. That's, that's where my old man puked. Everybody's got a job to do. Everybody's got to move and groove. I'm cold, Chad. I'm not spiritually cold. Daddy's cold. Mr. Bus Driver! <laughs> It'd be better with the hula hoop. <laughs> so then, they loaded up a truck and they moved to Beverly. Well, wasn't that a long time ago? Leave me. Leave me. I just need some sleep. So, no one here is a Libra? No. What are we to do? You want to be liked, but not at the cost of self-worth. Chad.
So, do you feel any older? Yeah. A lot older. So, Smitty, how are the renovations going? Good, but there's so much dust, our cats developed asthma. Well, you've got to be careful. Sounds really hot! Hi, guys. I just ran into Brett, and uh, there's a big warehouse party on Saturday night. But you got to dress in drag. Oh, excellent. I've got a fabulous costume. I can go with Sandy Duncan. Oh, great. I can't go in drag or I won't get laid. I think I'll just take my shirt off, because my nipples qualify as tits, eh? <laughs> what you going to go ask, Minnie? I'm not going anywhere in drag. Drag is misogynist. What's that? It's when you don't like women. You like women? Yes. Intensely. I love women who look like drag queens, like RuPaul. RuPaul is a man. She's, She's great. great. <laughs> Gay men are not women. Calling each other by girls' names and dressing up like supermodels is regressive. Oh. Yo, guys. Hey, Shona. Hey. Listen, going to the big warehouse party on Saturday? Yeah. Well, we will be, but Smitty won't because Smitty thinks that drag is misogynist. Only when fags do it. What if you're a woman and dress up as a man? Eh? I don't know. Oh. Well, I'm going as Rush Limbaugh. I'm bound to get laid. He's such a pig. Yeah. It's gonna be a gas. <laughs> see y'all there. Okay, see, ya. see ya. There's an idea, Smitty. Why don't you go as a man? Yeah, maybe you'll get laid. Uh. I'm getting more coffee. Okay. Uh, okay. You, you get me one? Sure. I'm gonna have a on little black <laughs> in the uh, drawing room. Uh, this is where I uh, keep my treasures, as you can see. Wow, this is a great art collection. Oh, yes, uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, collecting for some years. You know, it's a modest collection, really. Something to put away for the kids, you know. That is one of my favorite pieces. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a real breakthrough. Hey, hey, yeah. Uh... I mean, the level of talent is quite frightening, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I often wonder how you artistic types get your ideas, you know? Well... Well, I mean, think of it. This guy goes into a bar somewhere, you know, and he's watching some guys play pool, and the next thing you know, he's, he's painting dogs playing pool. <laughs> I mean, that's a gift. And dogs can't even play pool. I know! I know! To think of that when it goes against all the laws of nature. <laughs> that's art. Eh? That's art. Hey, tell me what you think of this one. <laughs> That's a stunning piece. I know, I know. It's quite moving, isn't it? It's the crane clown. I mean, to think of it, you know, a clown who normally you'd expect to be the happiest little camper in the world. <laughs> and he's found underneath to be in his soul. Unhappy. You know, I've learned that people who seem happy often are unhappy. Ah, yes! That's a revelation. Yes. This is a wonderful art collection. Oh, well, you know, I mean, some of it's probably junk. Come uh, on. But, uh, well, you know, I think I've been fairly astute yes. in my selections. Uh. You know, I would be honored to have one of my pieces hang here. Well, let's take a look at one of your paintings, then, shall we? Okay. <laughs> All right, see? Uh. Ah, yes, that's a very good Elvis. Thank you. It took a lot of time, huh? almost three hours. And I used a lot of paint. I oh, did you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I can see the paint is uh, quite thick. And, uh, oh, the frame's from Mexico. Yes. That might add a little value. Well, I suppose uh, we should talk uh, business business, eh? I'm prepared. All right. Uh, how much do you want for your painting? Eight dollars. <laughs> Eight dollars? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, puppy, puppy, no, no, no. Uh, to tell you the truth, that's a little bit more than I was thinking of uh, spending. Well, I am interested in listening to a counteroffer. Eh? Eh, that's four dollars. <laughs> See, it's just that the frame and the paint cost me six, eh? so I'd be, I just... Oh. Hey, tell me, uh... 
Did you know Elvis? No, but I've been to Graceland. Have you really? You know, it's quite small. Really? Yes. Hey, uh, I hear he died in a bathtub, eh? That is the sad truth. Eh? Seven dollars. Sold. Hey, you got yourself a deal of seven dollars away for it. Now, come on, now. Let's seal this with a drink before someone steals it away oh, from me. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Matus. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you familiar with this way? Some say a little too familiar. <laughs> you are too tight this way. There you go. Ah, to a great painting. It's made me as happy as a circus seal balancing a beach ball on his nose. <laughs> Cheers. Butch? Uh, I've been thinking. Maybe Smitty's right about us. Maybe we are shallow. Whoa. Perhaps we should try injecting some political issues into our discussion. Whoa. For example, what do you think of the issue of gays and marriage? I think they should. Maybe. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, Smitty. Hi. We were just discussing the issue of gays and marriage. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a complicated issue, eh? What is so complicated about basic human rights? I don't know. Well, aren't we really just fighting for the right to be trapped in loveless marriages as well? That's not the point. Well, I just happen to think that gays were meant to live in sin. Yeah, it's hotter that way. Why do I bother talking to you two when you're so uninformed? Can't you see that because we bond outside the law, our relationships don't matter? But mine don't. I'm talking about normal people. I'm not a complete slut like you. I'm not a complete slut. Oh, look. Now you've gone and made Butchie all upset. I'm sorry, Butch. Sometimes I get so carried away fighting the good fight that I forget about the little people around me. That's ah, okay. Well, I've learned something. I've learned that issues make people angry. Yeah. Let's go to the baths. I admit it, I'm horny. Okay, come on. <laughs> 